Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? This is Debbie from Tiny Deer Vintage and Happy New Year. How's everyone? I'm doing okay. I'm on the mend. I had been sick, but I'm getting better. Thank God. Um, today I just wanted to come on and show some new pieces. Um, some pieces I may have shown before, but um, I will be bringing a lot of these pieces to auction with Sue from Denim to Diamonds here on YouTube on this coming Sunday. I will link Sue's channel below. Um, just make sure that you subscribe to both of us so that you can be notified. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're not new, welcome back. Um, I love jewelry and I love wearing it and collecting it and learning about it and I thought today it would be fun to show some pieces. Um, some I have found just um, sort of accidentally in a lot and some pieces um, I chose either to sell or for myself. Um, this first piece I want to show is a Betsy Johnson. And I do have a small Betsy Johnson collection started. Uh, Gina Gay is helping me with that. Um, and when I came across this in a box, um, a lot of jewelry, I was so excited. Um, it's just beautiful. And Gina told me that this is a rare piece. Let's take it off the bust and look at it. It is in amazing condition. I can't believe that it survived all intact and just loose in a five pound box of uh, Goodwill jewelry, which is where this was. And oh, I forget the name of this collection. Oh, I can't remember. Sorry about that. I think it's something to do with princess and royalty or fantasy. I forget. Sorry about that. But I love the little, like, Fabergé egg and the little princess throne. It's just a beautiful piece. And this will be going into my collection. Very pretty. You know, the older Betsy Johnson... Once you start collecting it, you can really see the difference between the older ones and the newer ones. The newer ones, well here I think, oh no, this is not new either. I do have a pair of earrings that are newer Betsy Johnson and they're very lightweight, but this I'm really not so sure about. I have to look into it more, but this is also a Betsy Johnson piece. This is new with tag. It's a cool piece. It doesn't have the ribbon in it, so I don't know what that means for the age of the piece. This, I don't know, there's something about it that looks a little more modern to me. And you know, Betsy does not own her company any longer. I think this is older. It looks like it's. Sorry, if you can hear that, that's terrible. That's my washing machine. Sorry. My daughter's doing our laundry. Anyway, um, yeah, if you, if you know, if you know how to tell the age of this piece, um, any information that you could give me, I would be grateful for. This piece, um, I will be selling. I probably won't keep this in my collection, but it is beautiful. I love the vibrant tones in it. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, this is a super cool piece. Is he upside down? Look at this little guy. This is an old silver panel bracelet. The closure, I'll show you that up close in a second. But each one is marked 900, so it's 900 silver. 
This one is marked twice. Oh no, this one is marked. Yes, it's marked twice. For good measure, I guess. But I just thought this was a gorgeous piece. Closes like that. It's it's like I don't know. It's lightweight and smooth and easy to wear and old and I love it. I'm going back and forth. I can't keep everything, right? I think this is seven inches too, if I remember right. Let's let's give it a quick measure. It is like seven and a quarter. So it's a decent size. I just, I love this piece. Not sure. I'd show it to you on my wrist, but I have malachite and garnet, and this is, um, this is healer quartz. I forget what it's called. And this is, um, striped banded onyx, I believe. I've, I've forgotten. I made these two and I bought these two. But, um, anyway, sorry, I'm getting distracted. It's, it's a beautiful piece. So, I'll have to think about that one. Oh, this is another cool piece. This is a vintage, um, who is it? One of the oldies, right? This is the Pegasus Coro. There's some fading there, but this bracelet, these like crescents in silver tone, it's just in beautiful condition. And this also, it just looks fabulous on. This is a gorgeous piece. So well made. I feel like I've seen one of these recently in gold tone. I don't, I buy gold tone, but I don't wear a lot of gold tone. I mostly wear silver. So, um, I like to find the silver pieces. Let me see, let me give you a quick measurement on this as well. Why do I keep pushing this back in? Let's see. So this measures Also about seven and a quarter inches. Whoops. Sorry about that. Look at the back. It's beautiful. I haven't even wiped this down or anything. You can see a little discoloration there. But I mean, considering the age of this, beautiful condition. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, let's look at her. This is, um, this is an Art Nouveau piece. I don't think it's a revival piece, but I mean, it looks pretty old to me, but again, uh, I don't know how to date this piece, but she is stunning and she is a locket. Here's the inside. She's got quite a deep well. So, I mean, you could put a photo in here. You could put um, a lock of hair, a full tress. <laughs> um, yeah, you could, you could fit quite a bit in here. Um, she's beautiful. I haven't wiped her down at all. I just, I don't know. I like her as she is, and I don't think I will wipe her down. And this piece... Oh, this is another one. I love her. Look at this bale. It looks old, right? I think that's just a dent. I don't think she's... Is she marked anywhere here? Let me let me take a quick look at her. Sorry, I didn't mean to whip her away out of the out of the shot like that. Um 
So yeah, I hope you will all come and see me at Denim to Diamonds on Sunday. Uh, we go on at nine o'clock in the morning, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, I'm trying to see what this, if this is just a dent. I think that might be some kind of stamp. I don't know. I can't tell. My light is dying on my old uh, loop. Here, I'll let you look at her. I see if my other loop is here. Let's see. This is here. Look at that. She's old, right? She just, she looks old. And I love her. It would be hard to give her up. Need to think on that one. Um, let's see. What else? What else do I have here? Okay. Little kind of comical interlude. So, I'm artistic and... I've been a jewelry artisan for a very long time, but I also do things in other media. This is a French bulldog brooch. He is needle felted and I made him. And he sits on one of my furry jackets because I love him. He's freaking adorable. And there's something about I haven't done needle felting in a while. I've done quite a few pieces, um, owls. I have mushroom um, houses that are more intricate. I'll have to find those. I don't think I've unpacked those since I've moved to my new place, um, even though I've lived here for quite some time now. Shame on me. But um, it's like a sculpture, but it's done with um, needle felted wool. It's a lot of fun to do. You stab your hands a lot but you learn. <laughs> so that's my little French bulldog. He's adorable. I'm, I've been thinking about getting back to that. I don't know if my hands will allow me to do it, but, um, cause I know, you know, working with wire hasn't worked out recently. Um, this piece, this is, um, not marked, but this is Sarah Coventry. If it's marked, I can't find it, but I know that this is a reversible like enhancer that you can clip anywhere by Sarah Coventry. Um, it's reversible. You can wear it on the side with the cross, or you can wear it on this side with this um, blue glass. Very pretty blue. This chain, I don't... I think I put it on this chain, so it's not... This isn't the original chain. It's just an old chain. I thought they looked good together. That's Sarah Coventry. These I've shown before and I had planned on keeping, but they're so beautiful. And I don't know, I just, I haven't worn them and they kind of get lost in my hair. So these guys will be coming up on Sunday in the auction. I may do some pieces um, auction style uh, with bidding, and I may do mo uh, mo I will do most of them um, as buy it now. But look at them, look at the fine work and the little moon faces. They're beautiful. These are sterling silver. They aren't signed that I'm aware of. They're nice and lightweight. Very pretty. So I'll bring those on Sunday. And these pieces, um, they come from all different places. Um, I'm trying to think where I can say. Um, I'll try to link below. Um, this came from Melly, uh, Melly's Jewelry Box. If you're watching, Melly, thank you. I loved my uh, jewelry jar. And this little beauty was in there along with many others. It's marked Sterling, 925, and I don't remember what that says. Let me see if I can read it. That says, no, I can't read it, but it's a Sterling Silver Bangle, and it, it has this gorgeous, um, 
want to call it texture, but, um, yeah. Stamping, it, it's a beautiful piece. Doesn't fit over my big mitt. Um, my wrists aren't too, too big. I'm at like a seven, and this one's like, um, maybe a seven and a seven and a quarter, but my hands are larger, so I can't, I can't get it on. And bangles aren't my thing. I prefer either line bracelets like this one, or, um, I love a good cuff, but this is beautiful, and this will be at the auction on Sunday, starting at 9 o'clock at Denim to Diamonds. Oh, I know what I can show you. These are from Anna. These just came in the mail today. These are from Anna from Vintage Jewelry Galore. They are freaking stunning. They are even better than I imagined when I was bidding on them. And once she showed them, that was it. They had to be mine. They are the most beautiful cut rose quartz. I mean, just stunning. And then all of these little black rhinestones are inlaid all around that just, I don't know, there's something about the black with the, um, the rose quartz, um, it sets it off. And these are just uh, gorgeous. Very vintage looking, elegant. I mean, I don't, don't think they're very vintage, but they have that look for sure. And so well made and not heavy and just stunning I absolutely love them thank you Anna vintage jewelry galore I will link her below she has sales and auctions and fabulous pieces uh, this is new this is an older um, puff heart but I like the profile on this one I like how it sits like a little flatter and um, I bought this for myself I'm looking to put it with um, a heavier gauge toggle uh, necklace around 18 inches I'm, I'm in search of one so um, yeah I thought that this would look really good hung that way on the neck kind of nice and high and it's just beautiful and lightweight and I love it. It's hollow, but it has a substantial amount of sterling in it. It's a beautiful piece. Um, these little guys, I may have shown these before, but this is kind of interesting. So on Dawn's channel from um, Hudson Vintage, how to collect and wear it I believe is her the na full name of her channel I will link her down below um, she offered a full necklace of these links um, the actual necklace um, these are cut rock crystal set in heavy sterling silver these are old and what I have here the little tips are a little broken is just these four links that I found in a button box that belonged to a friend of my family who was um she was pretty much a grandmother to me and um she lived to be in her late 90s and she passed back in I think it was the late 80s but um I have her button box and I have found some really cool things in there and this is one of the things that I found. So uh, when I saw Dawn have the actual necklace, um, I was amazed at just how stunningly beautiful it is. And then um, Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale, she offered a cut crystal necklace and hers was, I think it was like a pink more of like a pink or a, a light purple I forget now but she had the full necklace too and they're just gorgeous so I will definitely um, 
I'll probably attach it to a sterling silver chain and I'll, I'll wear it just like this in, in memory of Elsie. She was a wonderful little lady. Um, this is a cute piece. This is Sarah Coventry and it's lightweight. It needs, eh, it needs a bit of a wipe down. It's older, it's pretty scratched up. What do you think, 70s, 80s? I'm not really sure, I don't know how to date Sarah Cove. But um, let me see if I can get it on. It fits me on both of my wrists. Um, okay, maybe not that one so much. It fits, I think, like a seven inch wrist at the most. It's a pretty little cuff, older. It shows its age, but it's definitely wearable. I like the textured inside. It's nice and light and it still has good spring to it and nice wearable piece. Sarah Cove, I like it. I love older, the older pieces. Um, I showed that piece, didn't I? Yeah, I showed this before. That will be coming. That's a larger ring. Oh, this also came in my jewelry jar from Melly, Melly's jewelry box. And I am like head over heels in love with it. This amethyst, can you see that? It has inclusions and imperfections that speak to me. I absolutely love it. I love the setting. This was in her jewelry jar. Thank you, Melly. This I'm keeping. It doesn't quite fit me right. It's too big for my pinky. It's too small for my ring finger. So I may have this one sized because, because I love it. Don't need any more reason than that. I love this piece. Um, these I may have shown before and I will bring them on Sunday. These are sterling silver and amber. They have the nice kind of long air wires and they clip on the bottom here so they stay nice and secure and I love the square shape and the scroll work these are beautiful nice and lightweight easily wearable sterling silver older these are pretty let's see oh I just realized I've got a lot more to show on the side of me here too these are um might have to make this two videos. These are lapis. You can see the layers in there. They're so pretty. Sterling silver, and they have the um, French lever back hooks, so they're nice and secure. Not too heavy, even though they're stone. Just beautiful. Look at that blue. These will be coming on Sunday. Um, did I show everything here? I think the only thing I didn't show was this. This I thought was so pretty. This was also in the, my jewelry jar from Melly. Uh, I believe this is um, silver filled or heavy silver plated. Um, I didn't test it, but I did see where Melly had tested it. Let me see if I can capture that. And you can see that it's not solid sterling, but you can also see... Let me see, where did I see that? Well, I'll have to try to find it another time and show it but you can see where it's it's thickly coated and this piece is signed but I don't know if this is an uh, Israeli silver because I don't know what that is I can't read it 
I know I saw it somewhere on here that she had tested it. Melly, you'll have to let me know. But I love this piece. I just feel like it's so elegant and so pretty and sexy all at the same time. Look at that. It's older, it's 16 inches. And then you have this beautiful dangle. They're like bubbles, <laughs> right? Makes me think of champagne. It's beautiful. I love this piece. Um, I think I've shown everything that I have in front of me. I'll do a couple more pieces and then maybe I'll come back on. Um, Oh, I have this piece. I had gotten this for myself a while back. This is um, Crown Shafari. This is from their um, astrological line. Um, this is, oh, he spins a little, I'll have to fix him, tighten him a little bit. This is Capricorn. So if you know a January baby like myself, I will be bringing this to auction on Sunday at Dunham to Diamonds. Crown Jafari right there. There isn't um, really any gold loss. The chain is in excellent condition. This is nice and lightweight. Pretty intaglio. I will tighten it. It's pretty, right? Excellent piece. Oh, and I thought this is a cool piece. I've had this for a while. Um, it, this is not sterling silver. It's a base metal. Um, I don't know what the metal is. It needs a little bit of a polish. I will polish it up, but look at this abalone. It's amazing. And I know that Abalone is becoming rare and hard to get, or it will very soon. And this is just a larger, gorgeous pendant on both sides. I've had this for a couple of years, um, maybe five years, and I did buy it new. Um, and I knew it wasn't sterling when I bought it, and I didn't care because I just loved it. I thought it was quite the statement with this the sheer size of it and then how gorgeous the abalone is um yeah I will polish it up it didn't have that kind of uh warm tarnish to it until recently so I will give it a good wipe down but this is a substantial piece of abalone it's just gorgeous you could wear it on a torque on a cord um, some smaller stones would fit through there. I don't quite have the right strand for it, but it's gorgeous, right? It's a beautiful piece. Um, let's finish on... Let's look at this, baby. This is a watch by Guess, and when I saw it, I fell in love with the uh, enamel work and the individual sections, the pale pink of it all. It works. And this I planned on keeping. Um, I just love the lightheartedness of it and I thought it was fun. I haven't decided if I'll keep it or not, but. I love it. I think it's pretty and fun at the same time. And is it me or are watches coming back in? I thought they were gone for good, but it seems not. I love it and it works. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, it works. Okay, um, I think that's it for today. We'll finish there. And um, 
thank you for spending time with me. Um, please subscribe and hit the like button if you'd like to see uh, more from me in the future and also click the notification bell so that you'll know when um, I have sales up or show and tell videos like this one or um, pop up live sales which I will be doing more of uh, going forward in this new year. Um, I've done one so far so I have one under my belt and I do plan to do more and to just um, to be here more to be more present and this is my happy place uh, with all of you and meeting everyone and sharing um, our knowledge about jewelry and our love and obsession in some cases and yeah so thank you so much for being with me and I will put Sue's link uh, to her channel, uh, Denim to Diamonds, and I will be there on Sunday, beginning at 9 o'clock. Sue will be there. It, it sh This is her regular uh, Sunday auction that she holds from 9 to, uh, it varies, 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have a lot of fun. We drink our coffee, we look at beautiful jewelry, we purchase things, we sell things, and I hope you'll join us there. It's a party every week, and it'll be my first time, and um, I'm really looking forward to it, and I appreciate Sue so much for giving me this opportunity to come on her channel. So I hope that you will support me and, and show up there and subscribe to Sue's channel. And again, I'll link it below. So I hope you're having a wonderful week and an incredible weekend. We um, here in Rhode Island just had a sizable snowstorm overnight. Um, it's beautiful. I know a lot of people don't like the snow, but I kind of love it. I love how it, it slows everything down and it's temporary and it's beautiful and um, it's our first real snowfall of the season and there's always something romantic about that in my mind anyway so um, that's ha what's happening here so I'm gonna have a nice cozy day drink a lot of coffee um, so take care and I will see you all soon bye bye